morning, I'm Andy Husbands and I am the Fearless Chef. It is Sunday morning today and it is, as you can see, December 9th. And that can mean only one thing and that means Patriots. I'm gonna go to the Patriots game today and what we're gonna talk about is tailgating and how to tailgate right. I'm gonna meet Wyeth. Wyeth owns a barbecue restaurant called Soulfire, so you need to have a you know a good barbecue restaurant representing at the uh, tailgating. We're gonna have Chris Hart. You've met before. He is the barbecue king. Very very important to have the barbecue king at a tailgate. We will have Glenn. He's an ex rock star and now real estate mogul. Very important to have the real estate mogul. This is gonna be a good Sunday. What else? What else? What else would anybody want to do on a Sunday but tailgate? Watch the Patriots win. All right, so here we are. We're starting the uh, the tailgating here, getting ready for it. Mr. Chris Hart. Keep the beat. What do you got, Chris? Uh, we got uh, our famous uh, pulled pork going here. Slow cooked uh, pork shoulder. We're done. Just cooked overnight, and uh, I got up this morning and I threw it in the cooler. Cool. Really? Slow. Yeah. Wow. Put it in the hot cooler. Wow. Probably I put it on about 10 o'clock last night, and I took it off about 10 o'clock this morning. Wow. I got a little thermostat on my uh, cooker, so I'm just kind of, I don't have to do anything. I slept all night and then check on it. I just woke up in the morning and took it off. Nice. Yeah. Does it, does it? Pull it apart here and uh, some sauce on it. Yeah. Andrew, tell me about your cold slaw. Um, well, it's a, um, a vinegar-based cold slaw. It's called North Carolina slaw. Uh, so no no mayonnaise. Really? Decided to go just to figure it would go well with the, the barbecue. Yeah. Okay, so what do we got going here, Chef Osmond? <laughs> okay, so got the smoker hot, 325 yeah. degrees. Yep, yep. I have lots of wings. They've been soaking in Frank's Red Hot for about 24 hours. Nice, this is going to be spicy. It's kind of sweet and spicy, has some yep. ranch dressing. It's going to oh, be yeah. about 45 minutes. Yep. I, think, I think wings yeah. are, you know, synonymous with football and tailgating. And uh, that's, that's about it, you know, I'm gonna enjoy my beer and yep. enjoy my friends and what do we we got uh we got some nice uh, a nice charcoal fire going in that box over there. What do you got? What kind of wood you got? Uh, going I got there? charcoal with a mix of oak and hickory. Oh, okay. Uh, you know I like the heat and I like the smoke. Uh, I'm not a big mesquite fan. I, I think it's fine, but it's not really for me. And you know I'm thinking about uh, we'll check these out in about a half an hour. Perfect. Yeah, really. Oh yeah. So there's the wings. They're still going. No, they're done. They're just. All right, the wings are done. Smoky, spicy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very smoky. <laughs> Pleasantly hot. Very smoky. Love it. Yeah. Wyeth, what are you doing, buddy? I'm going to uh, rub some babies that my uh, brother bought for me at a, a uh, butcher shop in Madison Avenue. So I'm sure they're uh, probably yeah. a lot more expensive than they need to be. I'm going to rub them and smoke them. And cool. And uh, what's in your rub? Uh, in the rub, we got salt, pepper, sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, paprika, cumin, um, onion powder, garlic powder. You know, I found that over, like, over rubbing the ribs is a massive mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, if you over rub anything, you know? Seasoning is like you just shake it on it. You don't actually rub it. You, yeah. don't, you don't work it in. It cakes and yeah. sticks to your teeth. You just want to kind of sprinkle it on. All right, so for tailgating, we have very important we've got the meat, we've got the cornbread, the cold slaw, <laughs> the rolls, the baked beans. So, uh, the most important thing uh, for tailgating is, of course, your friends. You got to have your friends here, you know, hanging out. Talking about the game, enjoying each other, and then the meat, then the beer, and a little more beer. And you got a successful tailgate. We're gonna have to be very generous.